Hey there, happy day. Let's talk about touching something with a 10 foot pole to supersize your business. Normally this expression is used with the negative. Don't touch something with a 10 foot pole. Wouldn't touch something with a 10 foot pole. Avoid at all costs. Stay away from a situation, a difficult problem or situation. Don't even want to deal with it or touch it. But the secret is the better, the bigger the problems that we can solve for the people that we serve in our businesses or with our businesses and our products and services, the more they're likely to do business with us. The bigger problem we can solve for people, the more attractive they are to us because people want their big problems solved. The problems they don't want to touch with the 10 foot pole. If we have solutions for those, we're golden. Now, this was actually an expression written by an author in the mid 1800s to describe somebody that didn't want to deal with a difficult situation. Well, most of us don't want to deal with difficult situations, right? We want our lives to be smooth and easy and we just stroll along and get through life unscathed. But it doesn't usually work out that way. We have problems. We have situations. We have things that need and obstacles and challenges that need to be dealt with. And we love anyone that can help us do that faster, easier, more efficiently or more effectively. So from our business perspective and a business standpoint, most people don't want to touch anything with a 10 foot pole, but those of us that will be problem solvers, those of us that will find solutions, those of us that'll get our hands dirty, do the work for other people are the ones that will be most successful in business. Think of the garbage industry, the trash industry, the entire industry exists and is very, very lucrative because most people don't want to deal with their trash. They don't want to deal with their garbage. They don't want to have to figure out a way to tackle that or handle that so by the trash companies coming in and providing a solution for that hey all you got to do is throw it in a can and roll it out to the curb once a week and we'll take care of it for you that is a very popular solution and it's a big problem for people because what do people do especially nowadays with all the waste that we create so if you can find ways that your business solves a problem and a really big difficult i don't want to touch it with a 10-foot pole problem because most people don't want to touch their trash right so if you can find a problem like that, and that if you have a solution for that, people will flock to your business. They'll flock to your products and services. If you can find a way to present your product and service, your solution in a way that in, you know tells people and shows people that you're dealing with a problem that they don't want to touch, that something that they don't want to deal with, that is a good way to market and present your idea to them. Now, a lot of issues, a lot of challenges for people are things that make them you know cringe and they just don't want to talk about it i remember in my italian food manufacturing business for a lot of years and for all the years that i had it um, we had topics that we just didn't talk about because every time they were discussed somebody's feelings got hurt usually things around politics or religion or value-based things it, they weren't a topic for everyday conversation on the production floor because people would get their feelings hurt issues that run really really deep for us we don't want to hear other people's opinions on we don't want them to sway us to their way of thinking and those conversations tended to go that direction it was one side trying to get the other side to agree with them and that's never going to happen with a lot of issues reminds me of the saying not my circus not my monkey it's none of my business what other people think of me and my business is none of my business really and so i don't worry about it i'm not concerned about it but there are situations where things are our responsibility they are it's up to us to take care of them you know dealing with our employees and our situations and our or anything that's within our business is ultimately as the business owners our responsibility and there's going to be challenging things there's going to be difficult things there's going to be things that come up that maybe we don't want to touch with a 10-foot pole but we have to because it's our responsibility um, employee performance issues fall into that category performance reviews for some people you know if you're always telling people how they're doing and giving them feedback along the way a performance review if you have formal ones in your business should never be a surprise and should never be a difficult thing for you as the leader to do if they are it's because you're not doing your job all year long and telling people and giving them feedback and people need feedback so they know whether they're they're meeting your expectations or not um so there's things like that 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 people struggle with and I did earlier on in my career too and I learned that 
all I have to do is change my perspective and the way I'm looking at a situation a lot of the time and what seems to be a really difficult situation, what looks like something that I don't want to touch with a 10 foot pole actually isn't that bad at all. I've just built it up in my mind as being this really big, terrible deal. And it's really not that big a deal at all. So if you really want to supersize and grow your business, solve problems for people that they don't want to touch with a 10 foot pole and you'll be golden. Sick, go out, have an awesome day. I will have another interesting idiom for you tomorrow and how we can use that to help us grow and build the business that we want and have the impact that we want to have on the world. Have an awesome day. Catch you tomorrow. Bye.